Nick, when Nell was, was designed, that was the meaning. Yeah. So now you're thinking this man is associated with God. They're building yeah. all these cathedrals and shit. Put this on top, and they're talking about this subject in there, but skewed to their perspective. This is how they deceive the whole world. Yeah, that was a part of the. Of the Bible to tell lies. Mm -hmm. The faces of the judges there. Part of them taking their covenant and they know. Yep. Like the scripture said, unto the wicked, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest destruction. Mm. They're words of destruction. Yeah. yeah. He yep. went up and he deceived the whole world, man. He put, him, he put himself up as the people of the Bible, and then once he received the power from upholding himself as that people, he, 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 he casted the instructions yep. behind him. And, and, and put his own shit out there. Then you got, you got, you got you all the time when he was killing for the power behind his book. Yeah. Before the time of the Greeks, he was killing if you had that book. Yeah, because uh, it goes back to the uh, Antiochian uh, history, man. When he go, goes into that decree, he said, any, uh, basically, any Jew. Uh, believing in the law and the covenant of their fathers should be put to death. It's also the decree when he said um, the women should not circumcise their children. You find any women circumcising their children, they have to uh, Yeah. That's what the uh, first night uh, One. Yeah, one. Yeah. Had our people eating shit in the temple. Yeah. You know? yeah. Sacrificing yeah. swine's uh, flesh on, on the altar. Hit hiding it in the form of gelatin, gelatin, and yeah. And Shell. They also do that same thing with shellfish. Yeah. Contain and they'll put contain shellfish. Why do you got shellfish in vitamins? Yeah. In, in, in nuts. Like, yeah. Like almonds and made in a made in a factory that shellfish peanuts. So. And this is also that same time into that, that thousand year that little season on me. He uh uh he knows he had but a short time. That little season. Time all the way back in the day. No, yeah, they did. Yeah. The window for him to push his Probably the window just so yeah. yeah. Right? So uh, uh that was it on the other so it ties back into what he was saying about so uh, second Peter 2, starting at verse 6 in the NLT. Later, the Most High condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen to ungodly people. But so, so that example is still sitting there now for the people of today. But what are the people who are not paying attention to that example? They're not paying attention to that. They shouldn't be doing that, but there's places that got condemned for some of the acts that are in common place. You know, in this place, that are upheld in this place. The lifestyles that, that are upheld in this place now. So the, the media, the modern media, makes it to a point of where you believe it's something positive. It's okay to be liberal and free. No, man, we have to have rules, discipline, know what our boundaries are. Yeah, because by, by bounds being established, guess what? The, the people have a, have a, a specific order to attend to, man. If you go outside of the bounds, that's how you have shit like this, man. They, they call it Pandora's box. Because there's too many options once you open. That's what they're trying to open up. The confusion. This brings us back to Babylon and Greek. The fact that it says it's, a, it's an example shows that the Lord already knew that it was going to happen again. It was going to be more uh, intensified. Which is why that second death was necessary. Continuing on, verse, verse 7. But the Most High also rescued Lot out of out of Sodom, because he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him. Right, and that's why uh, when you go to the Book of Revelation, it says 
And America is, it symbolizes what spiritually Sodom in Egypt. Uh, I got another question for you, brothers. Uh, what were some sins of Sodom? Uh, and if, hey, if, brothers, if, if brothers don't know, somebody could go to Ezekiel uh, 16 and uh, read the 48th and the 49th verse and read it up. Yep. Because the same sins that Sodom has, they are some of the same things that America are guilty of. You know? It's the same, same thing. Same amalgamation of uh, wicked kingdom. And which one do y'all have it? Uh, Call it out and read it. 49. Yeah, 49. Uh, 16 and 49. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Uh, Pride, fullness of breath, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. All right, now, now break down, break down uh, the first two. Break down how the, the first two sins of Sodom could, could basically correlate with, with what's happening here in America. Because it said pride and what else? Uh, fullness of bread. Yeah, so, so go ahead. One, one of y'all break that down. The pride and fullness of bread. That, those two parts. Pride is uh, like the alphabet people. Uh-huh. Yeah, also the pride to eat. The pride and what's the other one? Fullness of bread. Uh, just to add to that, say about pride. Mm -hmm. He may not reverence him to have the healthy spirit of the creator. Pride against the most high. That's when you do the stuff. Yeah. A lot of uh, impi impiousness. When you impious, that means that there's you, you don't have a, a, a reverence or a fear or, or a, a higher High power. power. Yep. You know, so you're going to be proud. You're going to do what the hell. Like the scriptures say when you go to um, Psalms 14 where it says, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the fool have said in his heart there is no God, but then when you read further on it, it continues to say that they have done abominable works. So a person who has the mindset of an individual who don't believe that there is a higher power, they're going to be able to create their own moral compass. They're going to be able to decide what's right for them and what's wrong for them. I That's think, why I believe. I believe. My truth. My, my truth. Yeah. Exactly. Go about to establish their own righteousness. Yep. Exactly. Yep. 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 You said fullness of bread. Fullness of yeah. What is fullness of bread? What does that mean? Fullness of everything. Yeah. Blood meat. You know what I'm saying? We live in Vegas. Yeah. There's there's what buffets every day. And then look at oh no. it's going it's going to get to it too because it's going to say another part of this. Like if you read it. An abundance of idleness uh -huh. was in her and in her daughters. We uh, read it, read it over again. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen, strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Yeah, there you go. And here in Vegas, what happens? With these buffets, you know what they do with the food after the buffet? They throw it in, in, in trash bins and they lock them. They lock them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they lock those those dumpsters that they throw that good food away. They do that at the Whole Foods too. Yep. They throw away like fresh produce. If they say any food has, they're basically their 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 guidelines by what what constitutes something is sellable is if it has no uh no marks or blemishes on it. So if it has a mark or blemish, it could be fresh bananas. Yeah. And it, it got a little brown. Guess what? They throwing them away. Even certain foods that they reach is um. Expiration date. Yeah, they still sell it, but they sell it for a food price. Instead of just giving it away. Exactly. Yeah. Covered with uh, food color. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not 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 only. Preservatives in it. Yeah, but not only the food, like regular goods, like mattresses, clothes. Bro. They can't sell it. They just Shoes. rip a um, get a razor blade and, and swipe right through it. Yep. I seen that shit, and like give that shit away to somebody that need it or. It's kids that need shoes. It's, it's people that need clothes. But no, nah, they rather, if we can't make money off of it, yep. throw this shit away. Exactly. Or, or destroy it, pretty much. Yeah, right. You're destroying it. I think it'd be the opposite. Though. Me too. They, they, you know, you yeah. give somebody your product, they oh, just keep, keep, keep buying it. Yeah, word of mouth, you know. Yeah. You know, I like it. Those that, that were needed are able to afford it. We'll keep buying it because it's still a necessity for the people. Right. You still need produce. You still need meat. You know? So they, mm -hmm. the people that's able will still buy it. But those that have, uh, those that are without, hey, what's, what's the harm of giving it to them, man? Right? 
Yeah. Back in back in our own book, yep. there's there's a uh, welfare system. Satan. Say, the welfare system. The welfare system, man. Yeah. Hey, you can't go back and uh, after you pluck the, the fruit or, or the crops off of the trees or bush, you can't go back, double back and put uh, pick the rest. You have to leave some for those that are without, man. That's how Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has set things in order for those who are balanced, man. He was over about that, and that's, that's good agriculture, isn't it? Exactly. Because now the tree is used to producing fruit on it, it's used to grow all the fruit, and it's naked, it's going to feel like it's not supposed to be. So if you leave something, you're going to keep that same flow of nutrients going through it, and you're going to keep producing more and more fruit. Yeah, and on top of that, the animals that live around. Like uh, my grandma, she had a pomegranate tree, and the biggest pomegranates was always busted first, man. The juicy ones. And you like, fuck, man, the birds, the pigeons that got to it. But it's because the birds and pigeons needed that one. Yeah. You know, the Lord made sure that they ate those. But it was still always other fruit that was still good, huh? I got a preset real quick for you. Okay. Proverbs 29 and 18 in, 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 the, in the NLT. When people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whomsoever obeys the law is joyful. Jeremiah 49 and 9. If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bear. Mm -hmm. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. They see the spoil in his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. You know? So that's basically saying, <laughs> you know, if, if, if grape gatherers come, they're going to, you know, leave some, leave some grapes. When he's talking about, you know, about the welfare system, you know, for Esau, he's just going to take everything. Yeah. You know, even though he don't need it, he's just going to take everything. That, that's what he's doing with that's the resources of the earth right now. That's what happened during both sieges of the temple. When the Babylonians came in to get that gold and all the stuff out of there, Esau was right there helping them. They was trying to help get everything out. That's why they kept saying, raise it, raise it. Burn you know, it, burn it. They wanted to burn it down and get everything up out of there. Same thing with um, 70 AD. 70 AD. You know, they wanted to get all, all that stuff up out of the temple. And then they commemorated it with the Ark of Titus. Wait. They just plastered it on, they, they carved it on the on the, <laughs> the wall of all the shit that they was taking out of there. Yeah. But that just goes back to their corrupt nature of being, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're insatiable. The scriptures talk about how, you know, they, they can never have enough. be satisfied, they yeah. never have enough. So it's the same thing with this society. It's all about decadence. It's about gluttony. Yeah, it's it's about just doing, just overdoing doing shit, just more. doing too much. Hey, why, why do you need a buffet that you go get too quick? Bro. <laughs> and, then, and then you have a, a health crisis. <laughs> say, this is the most obese, I think. Uh, this is number one? Nah, or, bro. This is or New Orleans. Orleans. I think. I, I, yeah, close, yeah, bro. Oh, we're talking about countries? Yeah. Okay, we're talking about states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought you said states. They say uh, New Orleans is the most obese state, but... Even in those European countries, there's certain foods that they won't allow. Oh, yeah. They don't allow GMOs and yeah, certain, certain shit. Well, I heard somebody, somebody say that um, cause this person, is, they, they, like, they like to travel. He mm -hmm. said, I lost weight traveling to other countries <laughs> just, just, just eating. And probably eating regular too. <laughs> eating regular food, and he said he lost weight just eating regular food in other places. Yeah. But then in America, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't like yeah. There's um. I was like, go ahead. I was gonna just add on what the brother was saying. It was somebody from a different country that moved to America. He said, man, I ain't never seen no portions like this back, you know, back around. Yeah. yeah. There um the the R&B singer uh, LMA. Oh yeah. She said um she was like, hey, I hate um you know back in uh, England. You know, I'm, I eat uh, what she said, tea and uh, tea and bread every every morning for like my breakfast. And she was like, over here I can't do that because the bread is too uh, it's too sweet and salty, man. Right? She's basically saying the bread over here is garbage. And like when you think about it, like we eating bread, it's like like this is sweet. You know, it don't taste like that to us. But when you, yeah. you have real bread, you know, then you can the bread out here has uh, just all the harmful chemicals they put in the food. Preservatives, you know. Preservatives. Those are banned yeah. in most countries, you know. But here they're they're they lobby, they lobby by the politicians, and therefore the they can get away with it. Yeah. Well, well, they they yeah, yeah they get away with the health regulations. Yeah. You know. That's all it is. You eat when you eat real like even if you go to some of these artisan bread places that have better quality bread. Yeah, yeah. 
You're supposed to, it's supposed to go there, fast, you're supposed to eat.